Today I am filming Charlotte's nursery tour. I actually worked with my sister to design it. Um, I really wanted something girly and fun. Uh, my daughter, who is four years old, Caroline, she has a very princessy and pink room. So we knew that we wanted something different. Once I saw the floral design, I knew I wanted something that had to do with flowers and something very girly. I, I also didn't want to do pink because, like I said, my daughter's room is all pink. There is still some pink in this room, but not near as much as my daughter's room. I will be doing a tour of my daughter Caroline's room as well. Um, but anyway, so we decided to do like a light blue, kind of like a Tiffany blue, and it just made the room look really girly and it looked really great with the floral designs that we have. If you like these kinds of videos, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, please comment below and let me know how you designed your nursery and uh, what kind of theme that you use. I will go ahead and show you her nursery now. All right, so I'm gonna start over here with the crib. This crib is actually from Nebraska Furniture Mart. Um, we got it as a set and it matches the dresser, which I'll show you in a minute. So it converts into a toddler bed and a full-size bed. And I just really love the bows there, that's so cute. We also got the mattress from Nebraska Furniture Mart. And then uh, we got the sheets from Target in their Cloud Island collection. And I'll link those that down below. It also came with this comforter. And then it came with the crib skirt on there. It's blue with white polka dots. We got this pink mesh bumper, crib bumper, I think is what it's called, crib bumper, off of Amazon. So that's what I got, and I thought it matched rest of her room pretty well. Then one of my favorite pieces of the nursery is this sign right here. Uh, I had that made pretty early into my pregnancy as pretty much as soon as we found out that it was a girl and I, I had already picked out her name and everything so I started getting stuff for her room that had her name on it. I did I got this on Etsy and I will link her store below. I forget what the store is called on Etsy, but I will link it below. This rug, it's actually a play mat. It matches her uh, sheets and everything. It's a play mat, but I kind of just use it as a rug in front of her crib, and she, uh, I sat her on it so that she can play. It is her bow holder, which she doesn't have a lot of bows hanging on there, but she's got a lot of head pieces, a lot, a lot of head pieces. And I actually got this on Etsy as well. I love Etsy. I did that and then I don't know if you noticed this but we ended up painting her room all gray and then just this one wall behind her um, behind her crib is it's like a minty light blue color over here we have her dresser that matches her crib which I really love I feel like there's tons and tons of room uh, for all of her clothes and everything. There's actually more than enough room in there. And that came with her crib on Nebraska, from Nebraska Furniture Mart, which I will link below. We, instead of getting like a changing table, we ended up just getting a changing pad and putting it on top of the dresser. Because for my first daughter, we got a changing table and a crib, and we only used the changing table for a few months and then just never got used. So we ended up just spending a little bit more money on her dresser that she'll use, that she could possibly use forever, and then just getting a changing pad and putting it on top of the dresser. Then this changing pad cover is from Target as well from the same collection. Okay. 
Next is the shelf. I got that from Etsy as well. Uh, and I obviously we've got our name on it and then I put, I didn't really know what to put on it, but I knew I wanted it to be something girly. So I ended up getting uh, some vases. These two vases, uh, the ones on the ends, I got those from Target. And then I got the flowers from Hobby Lobby. And I also got these pink gems in them. I got those from Hobby Lobby and I just filled them up and put the flower in it. And then this, the white flower uh, that I have in the middle there, that is from TJ Maxx. And then I got this sign, which I put, decided to put above her dresser um, from Hobby Lobby, from Hobby Lobby. And then next to her changing pad, I've just got a basket here with Honest Company diapers. And then, so on this wall um to the right of her crib we've got just like i just kind of put there's some decorations up there i actually didn't know what i was gonna do with it until probably the week before she was born i finally finished this wall but i ended up getting all three of these signs here from hobby lobby and uh i just i really like the floral i think that it matched her room And then I've got this flower here. And I All right, next is our curtains. I actually had a really hard time finding curtains to go into the nursery because I just couldn't find anything that really went with um, the theme that I was trying to go for. And I really liked these valences. Um, so we got these on Amazon and then we ended up getting the blackout curtains. Uh, the pink, just like the light pink color to put underneath them. We actually ended up finding a hamper that went with them as well. So here is the hamper that we found to go with the curtains. So it all kind of worked out. Um, the thing that I was most excited about for the nursery was this uh, glider and ottoman. We actually got it on Wayfair.com for a pretty reasonable price. It was a lot cheaper than all the other ones that we were finding. And I usually just keep a burp cloth right here, just in case. And this is a another play mat. Uh, it's like a, I think it's a, yeah, it's a bunny rabbit. And she really likes it, it's really, really soft. We actually got it for a Christmas gift, so I'm not too sure where it's from. Then above the hamper we have this picture frame that I got from a friend at work and I don't have any pictures in it and I probably will never put pictures in it I mean I hope one day that I will but uh, I'm just really bad at filling picture frames then in this closet she actually has two closets so in that one we keep all of her clothes and stuff like that um tubs of clothes from our first daughter that sh um, Charlotte will grow into and then we've got this closet, which we keep her diapers and her wipes and her toys. So, and we actually got this toy box um, on Amazon as well. And I like it because it has the little compartments. And here's our boppy and all of our Honest Company diapers because we have the Honest Company subscription and then some other diapers that we never ended up using. Um... And last but not least is this light fixture from Ikea. Um, it was actually really, really reasonably priced. It was just, uh, it was kind of hard to install. I don't know if it was hard to install or we just, or if it was just us, but it took us a while to get it installed just because these things come individually. So you have to clip them on one by one and there's like a hundred of them. But after it's all put together, it looks really, really pretty, and we absolutely love it. Um, it kind of makes the, these flower designs all over the room. So Charlotte really loves to just lay in her crib and just stare at this, like, flower star designs all over her walls and her ceilings. So, but that is pretty much it for the nursery tour. Um, I really hope that you guys will subscribe to my channel.
Thank you so much for watching. Bye.